Hey everybody, welcome back to Holler Woodsman Channel. Really nice day out here. Uh, first part of April. But you see there, there's a tree, ash tree from the storm. There's a, I don't know if that's a limb or, yeah, that's a limb out of a maple tree right there. Then there is a whole maple tree doo -doo -doo, right up there. And a beech tree, I do believe, on the other side of that, there's that little hill right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. A uh, beech tree down in like the holler there. Uh, there's our bed sheet. I think it's a bed sheet, that's what it looks like. There's some kind of bedding and stuff. Um, then I'll get you guys up on top of the hill and we can take a look at some of the stuff up there. But I was going to try to get some of the trails cleared. I got a piece of a tree up here or whatever. I don't know. Maybe that's just the whole tree or something. I don't know. But, uh, so, yeah, you guys hang out with me here for a minute and we'll get you some a little bit of storm damage stuff showed. All right, we're back. So you see here, there's a heck of a mess up here. There's a top. That's a maple tree, I do believe. And came out of that tree right there. And it's all laying in the top of another tree and stuff there. So that's going to be a situation. <clears throat> see here, underneath side of a big old beech tree here. It's probably about as tall as me, almost. That root ball. That's the trail's right here. He goes on down that way. There's the beech tree. That's about... So here I'm six foot or so. So it's about up to my waist. That's a pretty good sized tree. Uh, got that quaking ash and that is quite the uh, conundrum there too sorry my nose is a little stuffy up here <clears throat> but that thing is danger all over it there's a uh, that was well, it looks like a little maple tree that broke off right here sassy frass I'm not going to get too close over there. Um, <laughs> a bunch of little gnats. Looks like another, is that a quaking ash? I don't know. Let's see if we can get on over there. <laughs> There's a, another beech tree busted off. There's a, I don't know how well. Yeah, there's a, you see right See if I can get my finger right there. Broke off maple tree. There's another maple tree. Top. It's over in that beech tree and stuff. That other, I don't know if that's a, it looks like a fork maybe. Right, right there. There's limbs. See them widow makers hanging up there and that. That's an oak tree though. Let's see. There's that beech tree. Took out a couple other little trees and stuff. Oh, that's a maple tree right there. It's up there in that beech tree. This a bunch of limbs broke off in that one. Oh, there's a sheet of plywood. I didn't even see that right there. We was up here, we kind of took a walk. You know who you are who went with a walk. That's a pretty good size sheet of plywood. I didn't really look down over here too much. I mean, I saw that. That's out of this one, I do believe. There's not really another one around. There's a dead ash tree we need to cut, right? That crooked one. Oh, and that maple tree's a leaning. Just a daggone mess. 
that right there I don't know how you I guess you just have to cut it <clears throat> real careful like because it's probably just hanging on right there by that uh, little piece maybe just hope for another kind of strong winds kind of come through and knock that thing down don't look like ow, stick don't look like there's too much more Let's go over here and grab a sheet of plywood see what it's about we got another piece over on my range pretty decent sized piece there's another maple tree that fell. Oh. That's pert near half a sheet. There's shingles. Got shingles all over the place around here. That's about a half a shingle. See my deer stands right down there it survived I'm gonna move it I don't like it right there but you see kind of what uh, some of the storm damage we had I'm gonna grab there's a sheet of metal over kind of on the other side another property there I need to get just feel bad for whoever's house has come off of I don't know if you've all seen I think there should be yeah, maybe some videos on uh, Wolf Mountain it's over by Steinsville Indiana This thing's all chuck full of nails, so we don't want to leave it laying. Or somebody come walking through something and, you know, just don't want nobody to be getting something in their foot. But there's, see there, there's another tree snapped off. But, uh, it's probably, uh, through town drive down the roads and stuff it's five miles or so but to uh, the way the crow flies maybe a mile or two we about a mile or two from crow fly the way the crow flies from uh, where the tornado hit touched down and stuff and where it ended I guess not so much where it touched down but it uh it did a number over there i mean it was a beautiful wooded area and i mean it's just flat this looks like a bunch of toothpicks fell over and been finding all kinds of stuff found a t-shirt and uh like i said shingles and pieces of plywood you no know, i had my gutter stopped up i ended up getting up there and it was just raining the other day it wasn't really storming or nothing but it was raining and got up there and there's a chunk of drywall up there about the size of my hand or so and it was clogging, clogging up my gutters so <clears throat> but just kind of giving you guys a little storm tour and appreciate all the new subscribers and you guys want to like and comment so get you some more videos here uh, cutting up some firewood because you see I'm gonna be doing quite a bit of that here a bunch of beach anyway and I got more there's some more stuff over that way but not a whole bunch this is kind of more of the concentrated area of where had more of the storm damage so but uh, so thanks for watching we'll see everybody next time here at the Holler Woodsman channel